Baron. Oh, that's so right. And the Secret Island. That's the movie we're doing today. Plus, you mean you see the title, right? It's gonna be a full reaction. And let's go ahead and get into it. This is one of our holiday specials. This is supposed to be the scariest uh, One Piece movie. I ran a poll. You guys said this was the scariest movie, or was it? I think I think I was looking for suggestions. I think I was looking for suggestions. People suggested this as a scary movie. So happy Halloween. Let's go ahead and get into this. I do have one question. Are these movies considered canon? I don't care personally. I th you know, filler canon doesn't matter to me. I just want the quality of storytelling, right? I'm just curious because I'm curious. Is it is this considered canon? Are these movies considered canon? Where did the movies come from? Did you know they have the weekly TV show? Did they make the movies and put them in theaters? I don't want to look into the history of the movie. I know there's a shit ton of movies. Some are good, some are not. Where did the movies come from? Are these just chapters they didn't adapt? Is this shit they just made up so that they can, you know, uh, make more money? It was these theatrical releases. Give me any details you have on the movies, because I'm very curious about that, but I can't look any of it up because I'm afraid of spoilers. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. Three, two, one. <laughs> that noise he makes. I've had to hear about four times because I keep having to restart it. Because I had the captions cut off and, you know, it's just... It's like, motherfucker. This does explain why it wasn't translating the text. Captions got cut off. If you are a pirate, a pirate among pirates, okay. Gotcha. Secret Island? Yeah. yeah. It is a trap. This animation is different. It's a little shittier, shall we say? Uh, back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the days before she was a backstabbing asshole. I'm talking about Robin. By the way, just for comment's sake here. <laughs> Shut up, Chopper. Um, I have watched up through episode 249. So I'm, I'm into Water 7, but not very far into Water 7. So, no spoilers beyond that. This movie takes place before that. I think it takes place around 224 or something. So, no comments about that, even though you're seeing this well before 224. But from my perspective, from what I've seen so far, Robin has already stabbed the crew in the back. Now, I don't know if that was just a fake out, whether she's going to come back. I don't know. So, no commentary there. <laughs> Well, that's good enough reason, isn't it? I'm always game for more One Piece. That's why I watch all the filler. Funny, they said the island is Omatsura, but the title says the Baron is. It's kind of interesting. Man, that's gorgeous. I'm not wild about the animation style. Is that what we're getting in the future? Maybe this was this was produced years later, but they said it in that this particular time period. It doesn't mean it was produced when this was. Is this the animation style we're getting later? Because I'm not wild about it so far. It's a little too cartoony for me. I know that doesn't sound... You know what it is? It feels very computer generated, is what it is. Which I know all animation is going to end up being. And, you know, like American Dad, Simpsons, they've been computer generated for years. But this show, I, I, I love the old school hand drawn look that we got in 2000. It's going to be sad to see that go. That's what this is. This is, but not only does this feel computer generated, it feels early 2000s computer generated before they could really get it right, you know?
tell you something else, the movie, can, you can have the pace where we're slowly coming up to the island. In the show, we'd be there. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now's the first time, huh? <laughs> Idiot. Dumbass. Hey, man, I would. I want to be alone, man. I don't want, to, you know, a bunch of mothers around you with huge crowds at the beaches. Man, pfft. Don't make me kick your ass, bitch. What the fuck you say? Shit. Not even five minutes in the movie, I'm, you got me cussing. Yeah, you have been duped. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You gotta wait for the log, right? It's gotta reset. <laughs> Dumbass. Sounds like a plan. Hey, now this animation is gorgeous. That's interesting. The scenery is better. At least the, the jungle looks really good. The characters don't look as good. See, the, the jungles and the woods and stuff in, in the old school animation for the first couple hundred episodes always look very cartoony. It's like, whatever. I'm not really impressed. Look at this, man. Holy shit. Nice. They're not doing this hand drawn. <laughs> Look at her eyes. <laughs> Cafeterias? Yeah, he, he likes the beauty. Medical technology? Oh, cuisine. We're there. We've arrived. It's a trap, though, of course, right? How do you finance something like this if you don't have a heavy tourist traffic? Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're quite mad, you know. Like, how do you, the infrastructure alone for this number of people here, and they can't be getting any tourist traffic, man. We saw nobody at the beach. That must be the Baron. He looks like a dick. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Free of charge. That's what they're getting excited. Oh. I see. Great. I thought they they I think they were thinking he was gonna say free of charge. Where is Luffy? <laughs> what about the exquisite cuisine, man? The cuisine. We're out of here. <laughs> I'll do the ordeal. He's got this. That's not very nice. <laughs> He's... Dumbass extraordinaire. <laughs> Look how happy he is. Yeah. <laughs> Just like with the Barry games or whatever that was called. Kick his ass. When she goes full vampire teeth, you know you done messed up. Of course he does. It is a trap. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late. You've already lost. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, you guys? I thought you were doing it, Luffy. 
Yeah. Is that all it takes? Really? Hey, man, these are our two strongest players right here. We got our major players in this. Now we're talking. <laughs> Guess who the biggest coward is? That's what I thought. It's funny, of course, I also know about him leaving, right? They had the big fight and he left. Both things are in limbo right now. I don't know if he's ever going to come back to crew, and I don't know if Robin is. Those things are in limbo at the moment. So it's nice to see them all happy with each other. This is the before four times. Before the dark side. Well, shit. Like I said, the infrastructure alone. This would be so expensive. I think they're mocking the Japanese game show thing. Oh, shit. Well, shit. Apparently, he's awesome. This does remind me, what is it? Uh, Davy Jones at Davy Games? With the, I think it was the Davy Games. Ha. <laughs> ha. Amphibious fish, okay. Ha, 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 ha. Man, we don't give a crap. Yeah, yeah, clearly an idiot, yes. Yeah, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Good point. Well, this is what you want him doing. You want him doing something that's low pressure. Yeah, look at him talking shit. You're about to lose. <laughs> it's all the mind games. It's that Naradu mind game. The hoodoo that you do, right? Get his ass. <laughs> Catch some damn goldfish, man. Really? The the plant has something to say? The flower? Oh, shit. Well, that's what we're doing? Holy shit. Oh, we're not, we don't have to catch him, okay. Jesus Christ. Guess I should have known there would be a trick to it. Nice. Couldn't think of the word rainbow, I don't know why. Put him in the bucket, huh? Yeah, it feels like you left out a couple steps here. I agree, though. It is interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's why I thought you bitch ass. Look at him giving up. Jesus Christ. He's about to mess you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I thought. Yeah, <laughs> We know a couple people can handle it. He's one of them. He's, does this goldfish have armor plating? Nobody cares, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's your turn, Zoro. Kick his ass. Little fl goldfish flakes flying off. Fillet him. Hey, we didn't say you could kill him. We said catch him. <laughs> That's right, you better put that shit back. Just punch him. <laughs> Get in the bucket, bitch. 
Hey, man. <laughs> They're knocking dummy dust out of this goldfish. Get your ass. Get your ass in the bucket. <laughs> well, it's worth a shot. Really. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> good point. That's a good tr This really does remind me of the Davy games. Hey. The flower has opinions. Man, screw that. Jesus. He's pretty good. I'll give him that. He's got to be really strong, right? Now let's block this. Grab him with your stretchy arms and put him in your bucket. Yeah, there are no rules. Excellent. That's her net. A net of her own making. <laughs> You're goddamn right she has. We actually have three people on our team for now until people start leaving. The chopper being the third, of course. Really? I guess everybody's contributed except for Nami. She didn't really contribute. Neither did Usopp. Nice countdown, flower. Shut your flower ass up. That's right. Booyah. Ha <laughs> ha that flower reminds me of Miss Minutes. That's right. That is a good job. That, that was really a team job, man. Yeah. Yeah, he knocked the F out. <laughs> Dumbass. Of course, he can't swim, right? So he's going to die down there. Who's coming to get him? Anybody come and get him? We're just going to let Chopper die. I've seen past episode 224. I know he ain't dead. How is, how is Luffy going to rescue him? Dumbass. You dumbass. Unbelievable. Uneffing believable. Well, I know both of them don't die. I've seen past 224. So what's up? That's what I thought. He typically is the one that saves Luffy. He's done it several times. He's a good swimmer. It's that leg power, right? Oh, nice. That feels kind of ominous. I think this uh, island eats pirate ships. <laughs> Idiots. He's not the one who saved you. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you are morons. That's right. Keep crying, chump. We're good to go, right? We're good? We can go? In? I mean? The flower seems happy. That's only the first ordeal. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Flower. Big Mad. We have other ordeals. <laughs> Man, that wasn't in the rules. Of course, there are no rules. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's too many sore losers in this show. You know that? <laughs> Just kick his ass. This is him, him on vacation, fighting. <laughs> God damn. Domestic violence. Damn, man. Damn, she is kicking the shit out of him. Wow, she picked up a brick. Holy shit. 
Now she got out of her belt. It's just getting darker and darker. <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm going to predict this came out in 2010. This, this feels like a 2010 CGI movie. I do, like I said, I do like the, the jungle. This is well rendered. <laughs> You're making me dizzy. Stop spinning around. So you just sat down? This almost feels like a video game. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the next trick, huh? The next uh, game level, shall we say. How many parts are we going to get? I think four. That sounds fun. Okay. Is that a frog on his head? He looks like a moron. She looks insane. <laughs> they do seem pretty old. <laughs> Well, you know what? That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> you know, her vanity is her undoing. You know what? Damn, man, she'd be kicking his ass. Jesus. Yeah, see, they got her pissed off now. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> they definitely have the characterization down. All the character dynamics are exactly what we know of from that time period in the show. If I'm right that this was produced like five to ten years after the, that segment of the show, they were able to recapture the magic of the character interactions very well. You know, the point of doing a movie is you have a higher budget, you can do better animation. This is, animation's phenomenal, man. Even if it is CGI. It's larger scale. You don't see this these kind of vistas and, you know, shots of cities when they enter them and, you know, stuff like that. You don't see that in uh, the regular show. They don't have the budget for it. Typically, that's why people want to, a movie of their TV shows, like, you know, the X-Files movies. Bigger budget, man. Tell a bigger story, larger scope. You damn right they're passing you. Thought you knew. Yeah. <laughs> He's a sad boy. Hey, I like that that boat, man. That's pretty badass. Look at that. Oh shit. Well, that feels like cheating. See, this is why I call him a simp and why I give I mark him down in the character corner. It's pretty cool. Uh, who is this person? <laughs> A 
oblivious, man. So oblivious. I'm gonna have to kick somebody's ass that keeps up. Yeah, damn it, the rocks keep getting larger too. Hell, you want? You're starting to piss him off. He knows. Look at him. Busted. I'm coming after that ass. <laughs> Get his ass. What is their attack? Fried fish? That's a foolish attack. <laughs> the hell are they doing, man? Is that what the purpose of this is? Make them hungry? Yeah. <laughs> hey, why are you hating? We can eat whatever we want. Oh, shit. Damn, man. Cheat the ass. Hot coals are not good. Not on a boat. Meanwhile, <laughs> look at me, that apple. Or whatever it is. Probably a pear. Always reading a book. Hey, I think the flower likes her. That's right. Now you're my servant. Really? That could be useful. You said anything. That's right. Work this. That's what I thought. <laughs> He's killed me with that. Pear, apple, whatever it is. Parable. Something shady's going on here. Clearly, right? Oh, we're doing the uh, Scooby-Doo thing. <laughs> Don't make me go Halloween on your ass. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? A wonderful proposal, huh? Why do you see so angry? Let's see. Oh, most characters do. <laughs> You're not reaching him. Not gonna happen. This is how he always looks at morons. <laughs> they are pretty good, aren't they? Hell no. What are you smoking? <laughs> Not impressed. <laughs> nope, I did not hear you. <laughs> Get your ass over here. That's right. Don't make me kick your ass. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, that seems to be the case. He likes to break up teams. Well, we're going to be having that pretty soon anyway. Effing Water 7 Island, man. I'm not having a good time in that archive. I mean, it's really good. Don't get me wrong. But the emotional damage it's doing to my heart is immense. This movie's kind of foreshadowing. I'm assuming, if, this, if I'm right, this movie's made later, they know that the audience knows what's going to happen. 
They may be playing into that a little bit. Is this all the dead pirates? You may want to polish off your pair there, dude. Free up your hands. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's thinking very intently, isn't he? Hey, they're going to do the horror movie thing where they put the hand on your shoulder. That's a good way to get messed up. You'll knock somebody out. <laughs> Scared choppers, the funniest chopper. <laughs> He's in his underwear. I think you're okay. What are you going to do about it? Are you hitting him? I'll kick your ass. Take what? That's right. <laughs> Papa's gonna lose. Yeah, you better grovel, bitch. Put the hands on me, man. Dumbass. That's what you get for making assumptions. That makes an ass out of you and umption. <laughs> so we got the mustache toothbrush pirates in the tea room pirates. Man, what a sorry group of pirates it is. That's the picnic they, they found. It's a trick bag. So you're lying and gaslighting your kids. No. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. Cold day in hell. You lying to your kids? Slap. I guess he consented. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do this? Very embarrassing. They're not impressed. Look at them. You're mean. Now they're impressed. Yeah, it is fishy. <laughs> oh, shit. The mad disrespect. <laughs> well, you are a dumbass, clearly. I find it interesting. We have the time in the space within the movie uh, runtime. To literally go away from this race for a good, smooth 10 minutes, or something like that, around 10 minutes. To the point I had forgotten we were in the middle of a race, or whatever, contest. A ring toss. I had forgotten we were still in the middle of it. That's how long it had been. Man, you cheating asses. He is dancing, man. Look at him. <laughs> this is a great shot. I like how long they held that shot. That is really good. <laughs> he is good. Toss him. They better run away. That was an inconveniently placed obstruction there. Really? Tea head, huh? Oh boy. This is not good. Look at them. They deserve this. That's what they get for all that infighting, man. Yeah, she is dancing too. Look at her. <laughs> wow. Infighting. Infighting is their undoing. Yeah. <laughs> More domestic violence. That was a rescue box. I assume it's like, uh, why would we listen to you?
<laughs> well, that's no good. What the hell does that do for us? <laughs> well, that's one use, I guess. That's the T. What the hell? Really? I guess I rescued him. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. This is how they split you up. The, the end fighting, I just realized what they were talking about. They split, they're splitting up the teams. Making them fight each other, which, you know, the, the, the conflict was already there. He obviously feels put upon by everybody. Sanji and, and uh, Zoro were never going to get along. They, they never will. It is awesome. Hey, what's up here? Interesting. Well, clearly there is a flower because the flower is sentient. <laughs> well, that's just mean. Look at, man, she's pissed. Jesus. That's not good. Maybe that's what uh, Usopp is seeing. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't be throwing up on me. Angry. Very angry. Yeah, this is not going well. Just keep fighting. <laughs> How many effing rockets do you have, man? They got rockets, they got machine guns. Can't hit a lick, man. Very shitty aim. Well, crap. So much for that. You still gotta get your ring over them, though. <laughs> Damn, man. They keep coming back stronger. <laughs> they're barely paying attention to the contest and they're kicking your ass. Because they are overpowered. We get that. Jesus Christ, man. Can we just ring toss them already? Effing hell. Holy crap. <laughs> Destroying bridges? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> now that's a show stopping number. But you did ring toss them though. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Ring them, dumbass. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> she got ringed. <laughs> yeah. You're not scary, old man. Yeah. You have any rings left? <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys clod hoppers on you. Oh, shit. Get this old mf -er. <laughs> Get his ass. Here they come. <laughs> well, at least we freed her. Of course. <laughs> He's a little light on his feet, ain't he? He's like a pesky fly. Yep, he's trying to ring your ass. Ah, oh, shit. Get his ass. Yeah, get out of my way. Yeah, because you're fighting too much. 
This infighting is annoying. And so the other three are all taken. So it's one on one now. Yeah, we don't need to hear from the Greek chorus. Shut the hell up. Peanut gallery ass. <laughs> Good question. Red arrows, huh? The pirate era has only been 20 years, though, right? As the strongest ones to his crew, I bet. <laughs> no need to be hateful. What's strange about it? I don't see anything strange. Other than the fact there's a lot of people on it. This dude is on my last damn nerve. Get his ass! That's right. That's what I'm saying, man. Get his ass. Three sword style. Keep talking shit. Oh, <laughs> that's right, chump. He didn't get ringed. He didn't get ringed. That's true. Good job, Usopp. Ha <laughs> ha. Ring his ass. Booyah. So Zoro did get ringed. Okay. Hey, man. That's what I'm talking about. Booyah. <laughs> he is talking cat shit. Hey, man. He won. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> that ain't back seven. Oh, shit. Well, that is her specialty. So is domestic violence, by the way. Jesus. <laughs> Look at the look at the slap marks, man. I tell you, she is a menace. Good stuff. So we finally allowed to enjoy the resort or not? Hey, just take the L, old man. The rest of them are the same age? What does that mean? It's weird. They taken the life force from people or something? Well, shit. We're not going to get any answers right now, are we? Oh, shit. That's not good. <laughs> the flower's into it. I don't really get what they mean here. It's nothing good, that's for damn sure. Why is Chopper always a butt monkey? That's why you don't go wandering off by yourself, man. I like the directorial choices and reflection in the mirror and stuff like that. Uh, the water, you know. Yeah, Captain. Do something. This is what he likes to do, man. He likes to break people up. Dick. They like the sound of that. Oh. That's a pretty big damn griddle. Jesus. <laughs> Performance cooking. Kind of like a Japanese steakhouse. That's right. This dude's killing it, man. Look at it. He knows what he's doing. Look at him. Hey, man. He is awesome. Dude, I know you're jealous. 
just live in, live in the jealousy, I guess, because this looks pretty damn awesome. Look at me, he's pissed. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Take yours, yeah. <laughs> Why does Sanji always have the greatest lines? He has the best lines. The one-liners. So we're fighting over this food, apparently. <laughs> All because of his little petty jealousy. <laughs> that was hilarious. Also, I don't think they can cuss in a regular anime, can they? They can in a movie. I'll kill him. Apparently it's a sentient flower. <laughs> this shit looks good, man. Yeah. <laughs> it is looking good. That's all the motivation he needed, by the way, was her. <laughs> She's still pissed. Hey. Get the F away from me, jerk. <laughs> what did she say to them? Nothing good, I imagine. <laughs> you were kind of a jerk. So was she, by the way. Oh, shit. That's creepy as hell. The hell did you just call me poo? I got a poo for you. Look. Everybody in this island is weird, man. Uh oh. That means I have to kick your ass. <laughs> Wonder if all the people on here except for the Baron are made of they're like plant people, right? Pod people. Oh shit. That's pretty damn creepy, actually. Yakasobi, huh? Too bad you lost all your food. I took it. <laughs> now that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're making, but it looks good. Mayonnaise? Never mind. I'm out. Yaki, huh? Hell yeah. Hey, man, is that, sh I was going to say, is that shit hot? Nope, she's not here. Yeah. She's not here. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Just let it burn. Ha 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 ha! That's what I'm talking about. She's up to something, clearly, right? We're, you know, we know this for a fact. Damn, man. She's super violent in this movie. Yeah, that's what she wants their money. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? I don't know, man. I'm not convinced. <laughs> Is it true, love? <laughs> Yeah, there's something about this island that makes people fight a lot. Definitely. They foreshadowed that. That didn't come up with that in my own. Like, they, they talked about breaking up knocking mothers or whatever. So that's definitely a thing that happens. Ha 
<laughs> hey, man. Yeah, he is smashing that food. Damn, dude. Man, I'm telling you, man, like this, this island is definitely, there's something pollen or something. Making them more aggressive. Yeah, <laughs> you simp ass. Simp. Wrecked. 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 Jesus. It's a pirate ship graveyard. We also saw some at the bottom of the water, too. People are getting murked. Right. She's getting this info. Look how many wine look how much wine they drink. Yeah. I don't know about that much more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from twenty years ago. <laughs> they they don't know what time the period they're in. Yeah, man, they're, they're lost in time. They don't know where they are, man. This is creepy. Huh. Really? This is a place where time stands still? Yeah. This is pretty damn creepy, man. It's definitely got a different tone than the series. Keep it creepy, show. Keep it creepy. I'm into it. Very fitting for Halloween. The sacrifices crew? Is that what happened? Like they're kind of like in between life and death? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It all comes down to this damn carnation. Oh boy, that's not good. Is that it? Like, is it huge? I thought it was the one sitting on his shoulder, right? It's huge. Jesus. Holy crap. Ish. They're doing a really good job. This is creeping me out, man. Oh, shit. How dare you speak our secrets? Or do they die every night and come back to life every morning? That's probably what happens. Jesus. I mean, anything's possible in this... <laughs> Anything's possible in uh, this universe. Something with these arrows, man. The red arrow. That's a clue, right? They're the red, they were called the red arrows. So we're down to four. We don't know if Usopp's been got, but we're, we're down to four for sure. <laughs> don't give me that half-ass shit. Ha, ha, ha. We definitely cuss in this movie. You're goddamn right. Let's fight about it. What are you going to do? Let's all fight. This really is foreshadowed what happens later, man. Damn, dude, you better get off my ass. Shit, he's told the secrets. I thought this is something that happens every night and every morning they come back to life. No, I think it's because he was telling secrets. That's right, drop a beat. Yeah, Chopper too, him too. Yes. 
What, are you offended? <laughs> hey, yeah, give me that damn hat. So, yeah, he was, uh, he got dumped by this dude. So, where is Usopp? Yeah, you better run, you little bitch. <laughs> Keep calling me Pooh. Well, obviously, the Baron is obviously in charge. <laughs> the one behind this. Don't give us that shit. <laughs> The ordeals never stop, man. Let's just stomp him out. <laughs> I guess it's just down to us. Ooh, that's really cool, man. <laughs> well, shit. That uh, curtain effect... Looked really good, especially for the level of CGI we were talking about back here, right? That's a hard effect to pull off. It looked great. It looked like a real curtain. He don't give a shit about being shot, man. He don't care. He's going to kick your ass. <laughs> I don't bar you. Uh-oh. The hat's going on the head. <laughs> I think you just pissed him off. Yeah, he's coming straight at you. Those red arrows are something, man. There's something about those arrows. We don't know what it is yet, but... Oh, shit. They're target-seeking. <laughs> <clears throat> Apparently, they don't stop once you shoot. That's pretty damn effective. Shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How do you keep getting in these situations? Talk to me down here. That's where I am. <laughs> hey, the flower is confused. Look at him. They're coming for that ass. So what kind of guns are these? They don't seem like muzzle loaders. Crap. Just keeps getting worse. <laughs> what is he throwing? Is it um uh, he is a DJ, is he throwing like album records? Like, you know, ten inch records or something? I can't tell what those are. They they could be plates. They kind of look like plates, actually. Why would a DJ have plates, though, right? They never had a chance, man. Wrecked. <laughs> you people are creepy. And F you and F your feelings. It's about his feelings. Yeah, <laughs> they really like saying shit in this. I like it. Man, you just murdered that dude, man. That's not cool. He's a little kid, man. Look, I know he's an asshole. Because you're all zombies. You're or plants. Your plants is what you are. Boy, if you were alive, you'd be dead. Wait. What's going on, boss? It's kind of weird. Yeah, don't ask me no questions. I won't tell you no lies. Stop calling everybody poo. Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Good shit. Straw is going to kick your ass. I'm leaking plant juice. It's like I'm a plant. That's what I think's going on. Kind of like me these days, man. Dizzy spells. I 
I suspect you did. <laughs> so they do have a life cycle, right? Like, you know, death and renewal, death and renewal every morning when the sun comes back up, just like plants are reborn, kind of, you know. That's why things happen in here. <laughs> Dumbass. We got a hidey hole down here underground, apparently. <laughs> well, that's just hateful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not lucky to be alive. He's almost unbeatable. I ain't waiting for nothing. You should. Oh, wait. Where's Scooby-Doo again? <laughs> He's here. Keep trying. <laughs> you know, maybe I ought to hear him out. <laughs> He's so salty. Um, no, not going to happen. <laughs> so effing salty. I was just uh, checking. It looks like I'm about 60 episodes ahead of uh, YouTube currently. So this just feels like it fits right in, though, right? Even though I'm six... Well, I'm only... 50 episodes ahead, because this said 224, right? I'm 50 episodes ahead of where this slots in. But it just really... It feels right at home. It feels like it's... Or, you know, the character dynamics and everything feel like it's right, right where I am right now. Other than the fighting we had at Water 7. Are we all trapped down here? Oh, shit. Boy, oh boy. That feels bad. Shit. So they're all kind of, oh, god damn. They're all kind of like trapped there until it eats. Jesus. Damn, you're going to take the kid first? Damn, man. That's dark. Hey, you were supposed to, you know, put yourself in front of your kids, man. Let, the, let them take the dad first. Oh, okay. Chopper saves the day. Let's get the hell out of here. Look at him. I like it when Chopper's all swolled up. <laughs> get off me. Crap. I wonder if um, Lily gives him all his power and he has to just give tribute to Lily. Daisy's trying to help, man. He helped her. So the dad was just going to walk away, huh? What a dick. That's what I'm talking about. The boy, you know, with the glasses looks like a character from uh, Peter Pan. She kind of looks like Wendy and he kind of looks like whatever the boy's name is. The Peter Pan. I wonder if that's an intentional reference. Because this is kind of like the uh, Island of the Lost Boys, right? Man, get off me! What an asshole. No wonder, man. No wonder his kids don't like him. F this dude. What a dick. Damn, dude. Yeah, he is a coward, man. I didn't think so earlier. I thought she was being an asshole. But no, we know who it is. We see you now. Wow, man. What an a-hole. Dude. F you.
Yep. That's what he does. Because they all his crew left him. You guys fell right into his hands. You need to get your friends. Let's take him on all at once. Yeah, they're going to kick your ass. He's an arrogant toe rag, ain't he? You ain't... Yeah, I'll say it as much as I want to. 5,000 times. <laughs> oh, shit. They're already in there, man. Jesus. Well, that's bad news. Look at him all salty because his crew abandoned him. F you. Yeah, Robin, I didn't see Robin in there. He said he never felt, fed Lily somebody with a devil's fruit. Yeah, no shit. This is part of the trap. That's right. This is the way out. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I don't think I saw the, I think by, we can infer that Robin's not in there yet. Because he said he hadn't fed anybody the devil fruit. Anybody the devil fruit. And, and we, I didn't see her. Now, I may have missed her. So she's around here somewhere. You failed me. That's what you're doing here. You talked. Come over here to the flower. <laughs> you better dance for me. Looks like the flower is chewing. That's not good. I thought he was going to kill it, man. Coming by yourself, of course. Yeah, everybody else is already in the flower, so... Except for possibly Robin. Didn't really leave me, leave me much choice, did you? What they did to, to Chopper was reprehensible, man. Specifically what he did. The kids are all right. The fact that her name is Daisy is not a coincidence. Even though we're talking about translation issue. <laughs> River Otter. What a dick. Yeah, I've got two things. One of them is going to be, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Close enough. I have two things to tell you. He's going to stomp you out. Wow. He really is an arrogant toe rag, man. That flower's effing. I think he may be possessed too, right? The whole flower thing. The flower's got probably got him possessed. He's not the person he was when he first came to the island, you know? <laughs> I don't remember asking for your forgiveness, by the way. Oh, shit. Jesus, man. Holy, that is her. Why did he say that? Maybe he, he didn't, maybe it's just he didn't know she had double powers. Although he should have, because he saw all the hands when they caught the goldfish, right? 
Stop shooting me with arrows, A.O. Well, guess what I have to use to attack you with now? Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> if I can't use my hands, I'm going to use something else. That is creepy as hell. Stop shooting me, jerk. There he goes. Well, I only have one weapon left. I told you you weren't going to like it. Jesus. He's the strongest one. I'm going to attack you with my <laughs> head, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know how he gets out of this one, man. He got one in his mouth. That's how you get out of it. <laughs> Jesus. It's so damn creepy, man. It's almost like paint disappearing into paint. I actually thought he was going to do something there. Shit. He's going to kick every square inch of your ass. You error shooting bitch. He never gives up. That's what we know about him. I'm never alone because I got me. I'm my own gang. <laughs> Drop a beat. The cook's happier. The geezers are happier. Hell yeah. Gonna be a beautiful day. He really is a sadistic pig head. Duty face. This is why he kept the captain alive. He always keeps the captain alive. I guess they could choose death if they want to. I'm getting them out of there. A couple have lived because we've met a couple of them. Bite him. Chomp. He didn't say anything, a hole. And it could be that kind of party. He's about to kick that flower off your chest. Look at that flower still eating. There's like a lot of sinkholes around here, apparently. Oh, boy's been tunneling everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he chose to live. And you're going to regret that. He's like a mole, right? You know, whack-a-mole. Now we got you chasing shadows. Good looking out. I wonder how he's keeping track of what's happening up there, though. Does he have, like, a periscope? Feed him something. Man, you better get off me. Wow, he's actually taking ownership for once. I've never heard him take ownership of anything. 
Maybe if he actually lost his crew, he would. That'll that'll fire him up. That'll motivate him. What are you like, psychic or something? <laughs> now we're talking. See that got him motivated as hell. <laughs> He's pulling out his ears. <laughs> what a dumbass! <laughs> That's not how it works, son. If it did, I could hear out of this ear. Yep, she's psychic. It's a different kind of hearing, Dad. By the way, you you suck. That pirate dad is dead to me and should be dead to his kids. They know you suck. Shit. This reminds me of when you're in a submarine and they drop the depth charges. Now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, that's the thing. He was trying to demoralize you. He was trying to demoralize you. And the mental attacks, like I was talking about with the... Uh, he was doing that before. Was it Robin he was doing it to? Somebody. But it was, it's mental attacks like with Naradu, you know? <laughs> it's all about the mustache, whatever. Anyway, we ain't got time for that. Let's go. Dude's got infinite arrows, man. Even Hawkeye didn't have this many damn arrows. I've said this many times about Luffy. He can win the... You can win the fight against him, but you can't win the war against him. Because he doesn't give up, man. This time he got a little help to not give up. <laughs> He's about to stomp you out. The thing about you is uh, arrows are a ranged weapon. If he gets in close, you're going to catch these hands. You didn't get shit. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> this dude, he's been playing in Mustache Boy has been playing in this for 20 years. <laughs> Whack-a-mole. I'm sure that's one of the inspirations of this story. Got him that time, I think. Don't come back up, man. We ain't got time for this, man. Hey, Luffy, get your crew. This guy really is a dick. <clears throat> That's why I figured, yeah. F you. Kick his ass. He's got... Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. His magic arrows are a hell of a problem, man. The ability just... Uh, it's like... It remember, reminds me of Hela from uh, Thor 3. How she was able to just produce knives one after the next after the next after the next. Infinite knives, man. Stomp this dude out. I'm tired of looking at him. That's right. Catch this gum gum L. <laughs> he just planted your ass. <laughs> Can you get him out of there now, man? Damn, man. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. For the love of God, do not do that. Unbelievable. No. No. 
Yeah, your, your effing crew, your actual crew, because this old man ain't coming with you. Damn, man. Taking so damn long, man. They're like decomposing and dissolving right in front of our eyes. Kick this flower's ass. You better spit them out, too. <laughs> That's right. Spit them out. <laughs> Don't go in the goo part. Hit the sides, man. I think the magic gallon is about to give up. All these plant people wrecked. Get them out of here. Spit them up. <laughs> they're coming from outside the plant. That's where they're coming from. Oh, shit. Is that, I wonder if this is everybody they ever ate. Probably not. I think there's probably a statute of limitations for how long you can live inside there. <clears throat> well, shit. He's none too happy, is he? Oh, shit. Plant's dead. Oh, no. This crap. What the hell? Great. This is some full metal alchemist shit right here. Oh, those are all arrows. Holy shit. That's not good. Jesus. What was that movie? 300? That's more arrows than we saw in 300. Man, boo-hoo. We all got sob stories, bitch. So lonely. Man, pfft. Only boring people are lonely. But I guess we're about to get this backstory, though. It's not be interesting. No? Just a quick shot. This is a great way to get... This is the first thing I'm watching for Halloween. This is a great way to kick it off. This is suitably creepy. It was a good run. Nothing to do but die. You coward, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you motivate him. Kick your friends out of this asshole. They're right there. Come get them. Jesus, man. That's a lot of damn arrows, by the way. In him. I mean, I'm not talking about the full volume of arrows. Just the number of arrows in him. Quite a few. Yeah, that's right, chump. He's gonna they're gonna come out of him. No, I'm just crazy. Go to the hell, Dad. Busted. So it is, it's not a second sight. It actually is just hearing the building, huh? Interesting. Yep. I heard you hitting on the mermaids down by the beach. That was kind of pathetic, Daddy. 
He is a coward, man. What he did to Chopper, man, I will never forgive that. I, I'm glad she forgives him. Pfft. Go to hell. Oh. Maybe he'll redeem himself. Maybe. If he wasn't shaking so damn much. Oh, shit. Just as I suspected. Coward ass. You better shoot your shot. Man, he needs a whole hype crew and 20 minutes of setup just to do one thing, like shoot one damn arrow. Coward ass. Uh, at least he got it done. Jesus. He didn't like that. Oh, shit. They were all plants. Lily just made a bunch of friends for him. That's what she did. No more than you deserve. You better find you a new flower. <laughs> this is creepy as hell, man. They are killing it. Man. This is a great movie. That's right, chump. Punch him in the next week. Jesus, that's what I'm talking about. Wrecked. Obliterated. Enjoy being in orbit. I'll see you a week from next Thursday. Keep crying, chump. <laughs> That's right. Too late. I guess uh, the DJ was probably his cabin boy or something, right? They all died, yeah. That's what I've suspected. Can't go back, man. Can't go back. <laughs> yeah, no shit. So do we all. So now it's a desolate island, isn't it? All that infrastructure I was talking about, obviously that we know it came from magical sources, right? So there was an explanation there. Logistical issues of how do you feed that many people? You don't feed that many people because they're de effing plants. So you don't need to feed them. See, it all makes sense. No, not you. Never you. <laughs> of all of them, he believed the most. Yeah, thank you for turning around. You're making me nauseous. Good shit. Good times. Just a deserted island after all. I wonder if they remember anything. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh. Stomp it out. <laughs> I'm just chilling. <laughs> so that's what we're doing, huh? I'll leave it running in case there's an after credit, which I seriously doubt there is. I actually only have one complaint in this entire movie. They did something consistently. It was around 10 to 15 times I noticed this. They would hold on shots for too long. 
it'd be like, you know, a, a, sometimes it'd maybe just be a slow pan, but there would just be these pauses in the action. One time, I was going to actually queue it up and show it to you, but, like, just take my word for it. It's uh, near the end of the movie when the father pirate... He's trying to decide whether or not to help Luffy or something. They, they just they pan up to him and they hold on his face for a good two, three, four seconds before he says anything. And they did this a lot. And maybe it's for dramatic impact or maybe it's to pad out the runtime. But either way, I didn't like it. It's the only thing that took me out of the movie. It's like, can we get to it? Come on, like let's go, man. Pick up the pace, right? It's just it slowed down the movie. And like I said, they did it at least 10, 15 times. It, I didn't notice it the first couple times. I was like, wait a minute. Then I thought back. Wait, they did it there. They did it there. It wasn't just a one-time aesthetic choice. It, it just kept happening. So that was kind of annoying. Very minor beef, right? And I'm not wild about the character animation. It was fine. But I thought the um, scenery animation was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They nailed it. And just the scope just felt larger it felt movie this the story felt movie size and not because of the length but because of the scope it's just that the, the shots were just wider and maybe this was a uh, um the, the aspect ratio was different on this you know versus the anime it could be but i think it was more just you could have more detail and you could just show more when you have cgi you can animate huge crowds and stuff like that it just just felt bigger right so very positive experience, great movie, and great way to kick off Halloween. I'm actually shooting this on October 1st, the first day of Halloween. I did that intentionally. I want to shoot all the Halloween stuff in the month of October and then put it out in the month of October. So there'll be something of some sort, maybe shorts. Uh, it could be documentaries. It could be movies. It could be episodes of TV shows. There'll be something every weekend day. You know, now October 1st is a Sunday, but, you know, after you know, I wanted to shoot the stuff on the day, right? So it won't happen on October first, obviously, because you're seeing this on the eighth, right? Or I guess it'll be the seventh, because I'm gonna, this is gonna come out on Saturday. But every Saturday and Sunday, for the rest of the month, there'll be something Halloween related each day. So look forward to that. Just one more piece of business here. Let's get the Baron up on here, man. He deserves being the Hall of Fame. You know what? He was awesome, and he'll be the only true villain. Who will actually get points for friendship. Because that, that was one of his motivating factors. Now you could say it's just companionship. You could say he just wanted people. He wanted subordinates. I'm putting this in friendship. Because we don't have a want subordinates category. It's close enough. You know what I mean. Like his entire motivating factor. Was the fact that he wanted your friends. So he's getting a 10. I've always said you need a 10 and something. To qualify for the Hall of Fame. And so his the fact that his entire motivating factor was, you know, friendship and, and wanting these people, I think that qualifies as a 10. So fighting, who knows? We'll give him a baseline, like three, you know. Trustworthiness, loyalty to his crew, I'm sure was pretty strong. So we'll just give him a base level, like four. Comedy, this dude was not funny at all, man. He was terrifying. So one of the biggest reasons he's coming on here. Cool factor. There is a definite cool factor in them, especially because creepy is cool. The flower thing was creepy. It was so good, man. It was really good. So he's definitely got a cool factor. We're going to give him old seven there. Cunning, very cunning. He, he A lot of what trickery and the way he was manipulating. Luffy and the way he manipulated other people, the way he talks to people, just, just he gets you with this cunning, man. His cunning is very high. So I'll give him an, an eight there. Magic, dude. His magic was off the charts, man. This is one of the few times Luffy's almost lost. Like, literally almost lost. Like, he, it was it was touch and go. He needed help from red shirts we'll never see from again. Guest stars had to help motivate him. Twice. Not just once. Twice. That's how powerful this damn magic is. So he's getting a 10 there as well. So the question is... So the question there is... Was it really him or was he possessed and taken over, overcome by the flower? I think he probably, this is probably the person he was. The only thing he retained of his personality was loving his crew. He's probably a, a fairly decent pirate, you know, good person, you know, as far as a pirate can be. Not an over asshole like we've seen with other villains. But I think he was actually possessed by the flower. I think that like the, it was controlling him. It was, it was parasitic. 
it had taken over his body and basically was running it, using him as a puppet, puppeting him around just like the way he was puppeting all the plants, right? It was a hierarchy. He was number one puppet, and then he controlled everybody else. Some of his personality remained. Some of, the, some of him was there, clearly. But I don't think this is the person that he was before, not even just before the trauma. There's a good metaphor there, by the way. We are not the people we are after trauma, but we were the people we were before trauma. So you could do that as a metaphor. It, it, metatextual, that would be really good, right? That's good shit. But I think just the person that he was wouldn't have done all this stuff. So who are we actually rating here in the Hall of Fame? We're rating the plant version of him, the evil version of him. The good version of him was, was probably a very different person. But yeah, man, what a great movie. Thanks to everybody who recommended this. I did a poll or something. You know, thanks to everybody who recommended this.